What up guys? I'm back once again with another gaming stream. Well of course it's a gaming stream because it's my gaming channel. <laughs> so you know what else would it be called? Anyway, I'm really excited to be doing these videos again because it's been so long. I'm not gonna count the Shiva stream that I did, what, two months ago? Just because you know that's what I'm doing right now is not really a momentary thing, it's kind of sort of a regular-ish, schedule-ish type thing, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing this more often. And like I said, you know, I'm, I'm excited because, like, not only is this an opportunity for me to do some more film editing, have some fun, you know, keep the creative flow going, but it also gives me a chance to, like, talk about all sorts of things, you know? You know, talk about the game, talk about personal things, talk about just things in general, like all over the world and shit. And so, I feel like with these streams I may have the perfect opportunity to do one of those, maybe all three of them. Who knows. But anyway, oh man, I recently picked this game back up like late last month. I gotta say, it's it's been nothing but nostalgic for a game that's only like two years old. Because <laughs> I remember getting this and playing it on release, upon release actually. Because I don't remember if I played it on release, but who cares. It was around that time that I would just play the shit out of this game because it was just so good. And... Ever since, like, when I finished it, like, you know, before all the DLC characters came out, I just kind of put it down because I had, like, a huge list of other games to play. Like, Far Cry 5, the Far Cry 3, um, pre-order bonus that it came with, and the Devil May Cry HD collection. So I'm like, fuck, man, I'm never gonna finish this game. And when I did, it was before all the DLC had come out, so I was like, fuck. I, why did I get bored of this game so early? Actually, you know what? I don't, I don't even think I got bored of it. I just got distracted with other games and just played those instead. Because <laughs> I know, um... What else came out in 2018? The Mega Man X Collection. I spent not even two months on that before Spider-Man came out. And then when I finished Spider-Man, I hopped on to Red Dead 2, so... You can tell that even though this game was in my top five of the year in 2018, I still did not pick it up afterwards, which honestly makes me kind of sad because I'm a fucking diehard Dragon Ball fan, and all the games that have coming have been coming out on current gen, yes, that even includes Kakarot, have been so fucking fun, like. I'm not gonna lie, the first universe was great. Like, it was great when it came out, but then, you know, they put out the second one, and the second one was just, like, leagues above the first one. It was, like, a massive upgrade. Like, yeah, the story was different. The mechanics were, like, severely upgraded. The frame rate was fucking beautiful. But, you know, still, there's... The, the first universe still holds, like, a very special place in my heart. But so does the second one. Because <laughs> it's just that fucking good. And yeah, the same deal with the first, the second the universe. I mean, like, I would play that. And then I didn't pick it up for a while. And then, you know, I did the same thing with Fighter Z, So I kind of felt bad. Because it's like, am I losing touch? I fucking hope not. But then, you know... Thanks to Kakarot coming out earlier this year, I'd, that that spark of joy that I would get from playing Dragon Ball was immensely reignited. Like, I put 90 hours into the main story, but that's how long it took to complete it. Now, a lot of people complain about it because it's like, oh, it's just a Z story all over again. Yeah, but how many, how many times have they told the Z story through an RPG 
through an RPG lens, through an RPG perspective. They've only done that like maybe three times on the Game Boy Advance, which was, you know, the, the first two Legacy of Goku games and Boost Fury. I've never actually played Boost Fury, honestly. But, yeah, those are probably the only instances in which, you know, Dragon Ball was a role-playing game. And they, they did their best to bring that back for Kakarot. And I don't care what anyone says, <laughs> I fucking loved Kakarot. That shit was fun. All those hours I put into that game when I was playing the main story was fucking worth it. And then the first DLC to come out, which was when you train with with Whis and fight Beerus, that was fun too. Like I, I put in so many more hours into that game just because of that DLC. Like a hundred plus more. <laughs> so you can call me a fucking nerd all you want, whatever. I like that game. Because because of that game, I actually went back and played all the current gen Dragon Ball games. Yeah, I even went back and played the first Xenoverse. Like, that's just how fucking crazy I was. I went back and played that, the second one. I took my time with the second one because that's when I remembered to get the extras pack. Because I'm like, man, do I really want to drop $35 on this shit? But then I look... Well, I didn't really look at the shit it had because like I was probably gonna get it regardless but I asked a couple of my friends like yo should I do this and they're like fuck yeah dude you're gonna go back and replay it anyway so why the fuck not <laughs> okay you got me I spent like two three months on the extras pack like <sighs> it felt repetitive at, at some point in some instances it felt repetitive but it was fun. Like, I'm definitely not gonna replay Xenoverse 2 for the next couple years because that's just too much not to savor. And I would feel so bad if I just ruined that. If I just ruined that with, you know, a, like a third replay or a second when it comes to the extras pack. So, I said, alright. I've done all the deal. I've done all the DLC quests. I've done every road with every mentor for the for the extra story mode. I gotta put this fucking game down because I swear to God, if I tarnish its value right now, I'm never gonna forgive myself. I don't make the same mistake I did with these games when they first came out. I play them. I never pick them back up again. And I feel so fucking terrible every time I do that. Because I fucking love Dragon Ball. I love the OG Dragon Ball Z, Z Kai, even though I've only seen a couple episodes of Z Kai. And yes, I even love Super. A hell of a lot more than I do GT. And I don't fucking care what anyone says. GT was garbage. I never want to relive GT. You'd have to pay me. Twice what I make at my job to fucking get me to rewatch a GT. Or whatever you fucking call that abomination. Whew. Yeah, I ultimately decided to pick this game back up because I've been so fucking desperate to. Because, like, you know, 2D side scroller fighter games like these Marvel vs. Capcom. Tekken? Well, actually, no. Tekken's 3D, but... Used to be 2D at one point, but I never actually played those. And you guys have seen me play Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11. You know how fucking good I am at fighting games. I'd be crazy not to do streams with this shit. Especially when the first two, um... The first two season packs are out, so... Why not go ahead and experiment with that shit? <clears throat> Get it out the way. <laughs> but yeah, just replaying the story mode itself like really brought back some memories of when I originally got this. And I might even just go back and play it on hard mode 
just so I can give myself something to do between these streams. Because, you know, I can't just play this arcade like a new, like an insane amount of times and expect myself to be satisfied. That's not going to work. So when I just use the time to get better, you know, upgrade my skills from this. <laughs> so I say skill like I'm a fucking god at this game and I haven't even been on it for a month. But, you know, usually when I do when I do stuff like this, like when I when I do streams, I usually do it like upon release. But in this instance, I didn't have the motivation to or the energy at the time that this game had come out. So, apologies for that. I'm here to make up for lost time. He was number one. I fucking love Dragon Ball. And number two, I love doing this. Whether it's gaming or editing this footage or putting my garbage ass voice on this microphone. <laughs> I love this shit. I love the craft. And I love seeing what you guys think about it, whether positive or negative. It's criticism regardless. Hmm. I do also want to go ahead and mention that another reason I did this, I decided to start this streaming cycle was because, truthfully, I'm still on a massive creative high from when I did Minimal Effort Sketch Season 2. Like, I feel like I did that too early, but I had such the urge to due to the pandemic, like just my creative spark is through the roof thanks to minimal efforts catch season two and you know I've, I've had that high going on since it ended and i just couldn't get enough of it so i picked up this game i talked to a couple of friends i was like what if i started doing this what if i kept that momentum going so that i wouldn't let this drive go to waste and they're like, why do you, why do you want this creative drive of yours to keep going, if you don't want to, you know, jump right into minimal effort sketch season three? And my answer is because, well, maybe I have another project lined up after this. Scratch that. I do have another major project lined up after this. I won't go into details, but it does require me to keep this you know, creative high that I have right now. So, sometime, maybe a month or two, after I finish these streams, you can, you can expect me to be working on something on my main channel, which I'm hoping you guys are subscribed to as well as you are here. <laughs> because, you know, there's some things on here that I talk about that I don't on my main channel. Because my main channel is just, you know, creative projects, vlogs, whether the reviews, or just me being an absolute fucking fan bill. And here I'm just playing a fucking game. <laughs> whether I'm doing commentary or just, just playing the fucking game like I said. But yeah. This is gonna be really fun. This project that I have planned after I do the streams is gonna be really fun. Like, I can't even just put into words how excited I am for it. How excited I am for you guys to see it. <laughs> Man, I'm so fucking rusty at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I have not played this game in so goddamn long, and you can obviously tell that I'm so fucking rusty. I'm button mashing for my fucking life right now. I mean, if you, if, if you haven't noticed, then thanks, because that 
just the fact that you, you haven't noticed just how much I'm fucking struggling with these matches kind of makes me confident so like I said you know I still have a creative massive high I, have, I still have this massive creative high from Minimal Effort Sketch Season 2 but I don't want to jump into Season 3 for the sake of me you know having something else planned after that after this as well so I can't wait I have so much planned especially with how much longer this pandemic's going to be going on gotta love it just doing what I can to keep myself sane. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Because I did, I sure miss doing this for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll tune in Friday. Thanks.